What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about uh, autocomplete from inventory. Uh, we, we did have it in uh, the fourth generation, but it wasn't quite as powerful as it is right now in the fifth generation. We had to redesign it, uh, make it more powerful. Um, uh, by default, uh, the setting for the autocomplete uh, is off. You got to turn it on. And uh, we have it for tires inventory too. So tires inventory and inventory have the same functionality now, uh, including uh, scanning the barcode on a tire too. You can do that. And you can search for a part number on a tire too. Uh, but to this video is only uh, gonna be talking about the autocomplete for tires inventory and uh, general inventory. Uh, the first uh, thing you need to do is you need to click on settings and then go to invoice settings and then you need to check the autocomplete general inventory and if you want the tires inventory you can do so too and click on save and just exit uh, let's select a uh, customer real quick and uh, let's uh, see how that works so if i want to uh, if i want to search for wiper uh, for a headlight bulb for example and it's going to show so you can see it right there uh, H7 and it's gonna give you the part number next to it. I think that's uh, gonna be common handy if you have multiple it's, This would come in handy uh, For oil filter. So if you're not sure at least it'll give you the part number next to it And you can select it to select it You can use the arrow down or you can use the mouse and uh, just click enter and it fills it automatically I mean it's gonna quantity is gonna be one if you want to change it to two you could and it will track it obviously from the tire the tires inventories so that's really cool um let's do it again um notice if i want to search it doesn't just search uh, at the beginning of the word actually search anything within the word so if i type in bulb um it's still gonna pop it up so it's really fast um actually it's brilliant the way it's designed just like uh, it's as fast as google search or maybe faster in in, in certain times um, um so it's really cool if I if I said H12, I still gets it too and just enter and just like that it tracks that inventory. Um, um, let's talk about uh, tires inventory, how that works with the tires. So when you're selecting tires, um, obviously you're just gonna click on switch that to tire. Uh, once you switch that to tire, now you can scan the barcode um, or type in, let me see if I can scan the barcode from a tire. Uh, so you can scan the barcode from tires too, which is really cool. Uh, can you autocomplete from tires? Yes, you can. Let's check that out. So if I switch that to tire and type in 225, um, 60. So next to that, so with the tires even uh, cooler, you can see the, the tire size and you can see next to it the, the, uh, the model and then you can see next to it, I mean the brand and you're going to see next to it the condition. And that's really cool. So if, especially if you're selling new and used tires, at least uh, once you search, um, you can do that uh, real quick. So 225, uh, 60, 17, you just select it. It fills it automatically. And when you add tire, if you set your your mount and balance, uh, mount, mount and balance uh, to automatic, it fills it automatic too. Um, let's check it out again. Uh, tire 225, 60. Let's put 16, and if you go to mountain balance and st state mandate, um, it'll fill it up automatically, so which is really cool. Um, uh, I think that's some most I think I, I don't I never use tires inventory, so I never been in this situation where uh, uh, to pull tires like the, the original way we have it is you click on can jobs and inventory, and you click on general inventory. And now you can search anything you want right here and select it from here. But I think if you are using tires inventory or general inventory a lot, uh, it feels like too many steps to do so. This is convenient um, only if you're doing it once in a while. If you're doing it, if you're getting your parts, the majority of your parts from tires inventory, uh, that's, that's, that's going to be a pain in the ass to do so. So you have that quick option right now, which is the autocomplete, um, uh, say brake pads. Um, so you, you do have the option with the autocomplete now uh, to make it 
uh, a lot easier for you guys. Um, anyway, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.